Hi guys, welcome back to my courses. In this lesson, I'm gonna teach you the E free jam mode. The free jam mode is the third mode of the major scale. So if we play a C major scale, we will have an E free jam. Free jam mode is built by the root, the minor second, the minor third, the fourth, the fifth, the minor sixth, and the minor seven. So the difference between a minor scale, a natural minor scale, and the free jump mode is the second. You have a major second on the Aeolian mode or the natural minor scale, and you have a minor second on the free jump mode. You will play a E free jump mode over an E minor chord. So we can start with the caged system with the D shape. We have the second fret on the D string as a root, go fret 3 and 5 root minor second and minor third then we go to the G string fret 2 4 and 5 4 5th and minor 6th then we go to fret 3 on the B string minor 7 root on fret 5 and minor second on fret 6. Then you go fret 3 on the E string, fret 5, and fret 7. Here you have the minor third, the fourth, and the fifth. can go to the C shape, we start with our little finger on the 7th fret on the A string, this is our root, and then we go to the D string, fret 3, for the minor 2nd, fret 5, and fret 7. Then you go to G string, fret 4, the 5th, fret 5 for the minor 6, and fret 7 for the then you go to the B string and you have the root here on fret 5, minor 2nd on fret 6 and minor 3rd on fret 8. In the last string you have 5th uh, fret, 7th fret and 8th fret. Now we can go to the A shape, we start again on the 7th fret on the A string, but with our index this time. You will have 3 notes for each string, so we start with the 7th fret and then we go to fret 8, minor 2nd, and fret 10, minor 3rd. Then we go to the D string and we have 7, 9, and 10, minor 6. And then you will have the same pattern on the G string. So 7 again, minor 7, 9th fret, and 10th fret, root and minor 7. Then we go to the last two string and we have fret 8, 10, and 12, minor 3rd, 4th, and 5th. And you will have the same pattern on the E string, 8, 10, and 12. So now I play the whole scale. All right, now we can go to the G shape. We start with the repiki on the 12th fret on the top string and then we go to the A string we go to fret 8 for the minor 2nd fret 10 for the minor 3rd and 
and 12 for the third is not very easy. No, cool stretching. Then we go to the B string, we have fret 9, 10, and 12, 5th, minor 6, and minor 7. And then you will have the same pattern on the G string. Root, root here on fret 9, minor 2nd, and minor 3rd. Then we have the B string, 10, 12, and 13, 4th, 5th, and minor 6. And the same pattern on the E string, minor 7, root, and minor 6. Okay, cool. Now we go to the last shape of the if region mode, then we have the E shape. We start with our index on the 12th fret on the top string. This is the root, and then we go 13 and 15. Then we go to the A string, fret 12 for the third, fifth on fret 13, and the minor 6 fret 15. Then we go to the D string, fret 12 for the minor 7, 13 for the root, and 15 again for the minor 2nd. Twelve fret on the G string, minor 3rd, then we go fret 14 and 16. Then we have the last two strings that have the same pattern, 12, 13, and 15. So we go 12, 5th, 13, minor 6, 15, minor 7, E string, fret 12, uh, root, 13, and 15. 